Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to section 3.2, Solving Systems of Inequalities by Graphing. Here in number one, we are asked to solve the systems of inequalities, and this is what a system of inequalities would look like. It's the same thing, almost, as e a system of equations, but now, remember, with inequalities, we have a greater than or less than sign, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to sign. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to graph this red inequality. So my slope here is 2, my y-intercept is negative 4. So I'm going to go ahead and plot and then draw this line. So it's at negative 4 on my y-intercept, and then I go up 2, over 1, up 2, over 1. Now, I'm going to connect these points with what kind of a line? Here I have a greater than sign, so that line is now going to be a dotted line as I draw my line right there. Now with that inequality, remember back to last chapter, what did we have to do? We had to shade, right? We had to shade one way or the other. Well, how do we shade? We shaded by picking point 0, 0 and plugging it in. So let's try it. We pick point 0 and plug it in for y times 2 is greater than blah 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 minus 4. So now we have 0 is greater than negative 4. Is that true? Yes, it is true. So I'm going to shade that way. I'm just going to draw arrows for right now because I'm going to have to draw another line and I don't want to want many scribbles on here. So I'm going to shade on this side of the red line. Well, now let's try the blue line. What is my slope on the blue line? My slope is going to be a negative one half. And since it's a slope, I'm going to write it as a fraction just because I like seeing it as a fraction a little bit better. My y-intercept is three. So I go plot my y-intercept, then I go down 1 over 2 for my slope, down 1 over 2 for my slope, or you could go up 1 over 2. It's a negative slope, so I'm going down from left to right. So now let's go ahead and connect those dots with a line. What kind of line is it? Since it is a, a less than or equal to, because of the equal to, because of that line underneath there, it's going to be a solid line. So I'm going to graph a solid line. Now remember, it is an inequality, so we have to figure out which way you have to shade. We do that by picking 0, 0. So here I go 0 is less than or equal to a negative 0 0.5 times 0 plus 3. So I get 0 is less than or equal to 3. Is that true? Yes, it is. So I would want to shade on this side of the line. So I shade on that side of the line. Now, before I fill in both my shadings, with when we solve a system of inequalities, we want to shade where all the lines would be. All right? We want to shade the common area. So I'm going to shade below the blue line and to the left of the red line. Where would that common shading be? That common shading would be right here because it's below the blue line and to the left of the red line. Notice how my arrow's pointing down here and pointing over. We'd be shading right here. Now what does this shading mean? This shading means that I could pick any point that is shaded that would solve or work, would make this e inequality true and this inequality true. So let's try it real quick. I'm going to pick this point, point one, one, and plug it in for this red guy. So if I plug it in for this guy, I'm going to have 1 is greater than 2 times 1 minus 4. So is 1 greater than negative 2? Yes, it is. It works there. Well, now I'm going to put 1, 1 in for this guy. I'm going to put it down here. Is 1 less than or equal to negative 0 0.5 times 1 plus 3? So here I have 1 is less than or equal to and then this is going to be 2.5. Is 1 less than or equal to 2.5? Yes, it is. So it works for both inequalities, so I know I shaded the right region. Let's try another one. Number 2. Again, here's what our systems look like, a system of inequalities. So now I'm going to separate them a little bit for some workspace. First thing we want to do, figure out our slope and our y-intercept. So here, the slope would be negative 3 force. Y-intercept would be a positive 2, so go ahead and plot that 2. Then it is a down 
3 over 1, 2, 3, 4. Plot that point. Or you could go up 3 and over 1, 2, 3, 4. As long as we have a negative slope, we're all right. Our line then is a solid line because of the equal to. So I'm going to have a solid line connecting those dots. We also have to figure out which way we would shade because it's an inequality. Again, pick point 0, 0. So 0 is greater than or equal to negative 3 fourths times 0 plus 2. So 0 is greater than or equal to 2. Is that true? No, it is not. It is false. So we have to shade on the other side of the line. So we shade the other side. Now, here for the blue guy, our y inter or sorry, our slope is negative 3 fourths. Our y intercept is negative 2. Go ahead and plot that. y intercept, negative 2. Uh, negative 3 fourths is down 3 over 1, 2, 3, 4. Put a point. Or from your y intercept, you could go up 3 and over 1, 2, 3, 4 to make a negative slope. Then we have to connect the line. Well, what do we connect the sorry, what do we connect the dots with? We connect the dots with a dotted line. And why is that? It's because of the less than sign. There is no equal to. So now, which way do we shade on this line? Again, picking point 0, 0. Putting 0 in for x and y. 0 is less than negative 3 fourths times 0 minus 2. Minus 2. So 0 is less than a negative 2. Is that true? It is not true. So here's the true side. So I want to shade away from the true side. So now, what do I come up with? Am I going to shade any region twice? Well, I'm going to shade on this side of the blue line. I'm going to shade on this side of the red line. So am I shading any region twice? I am not. So since I did not shade any region twice, this is no solution because I have no points that would work for both of these inequalities. Or if you would like, you can just draw a circle with a line through it. Let's try one more. Here, our system of inequalities has an absolute value in it and another absolute value in it. So let's try and graph this. Well, let's think back to last section. What did we have to put in the middle of our table? We want to get this to zero. So what would get this to zero? By putting six in the middle. So we have to go six or two up and two down. So two up is seven and eight. Two down is five and four. Now if we plug these points in, I put eight, or sorry, it would be six minus eight, which is negative two, but the absolute value, absolute value of negative two is two. Same thing, seven minus eight is a negative one, but it's an absolute value, so it's one. I put six in, it's zero. I put five in, it's a positive one. I put four in, it's a positive two. Let's go ahead and graph this. So I go over eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then up two, put a point. And then I go seven, one, put a point. Then I go six, zero, put a point. Five, one, four, two, put a point. Now, what kind of line am I going to draw? I'm going to draw a solid line through these points. So I draw my solid line through those points. And then over here through these points, now, I have to figure out which way I am going to shade. How do we do that? By picking 0, 0. So I plug in 0 is greater than or equal to the absolute value of 6 minus 0. Is 0 greater than or equal to 6? It is not, right? So since it was over here, I would shade inside of this V. Shading inside of this V. Well, now let's try and graph y is less than or equal to 4. Well, yes, it is the absolute value, but where are all my y values 4? Well, they are right here. My y value would be 4. Here my y value is 4. Here my y value is 4. Here my y value is 4. So what do we have to do? We have to draw a solid line across y equals 4. Next thing we have to do is to shade and how do we shade? We have to pick point zero, 0. You can pick any point, but I like picking point zero, 0 to keep it simple for us. So I plug in 0 for y. Is 0 less than 4? Yes, it is. So it would be below this line. 
So now again, we want to shade the region. We want to shade the region where both lines are occurring. Well, it would be below this blue line, yes, but it has to be inside the V. So where I have to shade now is right in this area. So if you would pick a point from this spot, it would satisfy both of these inequalities. If I pick 0, 0, it would satisfy only the blue inequality. It would not satisfy the red. Or if I pick this point here, it would satisfy no inequality. But the area I shaded, the region I shaded, this region here would satisfy both inequalities. And now that does it for section 3.2, solving systems of inequalities by graphing. Good day.